Hello, student. Welcome in today's session. I am Professor Fayaz Khawadi from Department of Mechanical Engineering. With continuation with previous module, this is our module number 1.7, cutting speed, feed, depth of cut, and MRR. In this session, we are going to study what is cutting speed, what is feed, depth of cut, and metal removal weight, MRR, and what is the effect of the, those parameters on surface of the work, work piece from theory of metal cutting unit and from manufacturing process to subject. So let us start. The surface of any component produced by machining depends on following main factor. Cutting speed of tool, feed, depth of cut, and fourth one, metal removal rate. So cutting speed is defined as the rate at which cutting edge of tool passes over the surface of workpiece in unit time. It is the rate at which the cutting edge of tool passes over the surface of workpiece in unit time and it is measured in meter per minute. That cutting, the formula for cutting speed mathematically is defined as pi d n upon 1000 meter per minute. Pi d n upon 1000 meter per minute where d is the diameter of work in mm. When you will uh, take diameter in mm, after dividing by 1000, that will con convert in meter, okay? So you have to take the diameter in mm and you will get the answer uh, of cutting speed in meter per minute, where n is the RPM revolutions per minute of the work. Now that cutting speed should not be too high or should not be too less. When that cutting speed will be too high, what is the effect on uh, workpiece material and life of the work, uh, tool material that uh, let us see here. When the cutting speed is too high, at that time overheating of tool will take place due to friction between tool and workpiece material, cutting edge and workpiece material. Due to the overheating of tool, cutting point of edge fail, fails or you can see the cutting edge will become blunt or sharpness of cutting edge or cutting point will fail. So due to this, it will directly affect the life of the tool where due to this, the life of the tool will decrease. So the cutting speed should not too high. Second one, when the cutting speed is too low. So what happened when cutting speed is too low, more machining time will be required. Machining time will be more or machining time will increase due to low cutting speed. So what happened that that will directly affect on productivity. So productivity will decrease and the production cost will increase. So the cutting speed should not be too high and should not be too low. It have a specific value depending upon the material of workpiece, depending upon the material of tool. The second one is the feed. Feed is defined as the distance traveled by tool along the workpiece from each pass of tool point in unit time. In turning operation, we can understand this. Feed is distance traveled by the tool in one revolution of workpiece. The distance traveled by the tool in one revolution of workpiece. That means when you rotate the hand wheel, the tool start moving from tailstock to headstock. So that linear distance, that straight distance of that tool per unit revolution of workpiece, when the workpiece is mounted in chuck. So in one revolution of the workpiece, how much distance the tool is traveling towards the headstock, that is called as feed in turning operation. And that is measured in mm per revolution. Distance traveled by tool in mm per revolution of workpiece. So feed you will measure in mm per revolution. 
so cutting speed and feed these two parameters cutting speed and feed these two parameter are affected by workpiece material second one tool material and third is a tool geometry obvious that tool geometry includes the rake angle of tool a relief angle of tool and end cutting edge angle in this both are the side cutting edge angle and end cutting edge angle so this directly affect the cutting speed and feed affected by cutting speed and feed third definition is depth of cut it is the penetration of cutting edge of the tool into the material how much distance the tool penetrate into the material of the workpiece in each pass measured perpendicular to machine surface so feed and depth what is the difference between feed and depth feed is linear distance measured parallel to the axis of rotation of workpiece whereas depth of cut is the perpendicular distance traveled by tool towards the workpiece or axis of rotation so these two depth of cut and feed are both perpendicular to each other these two motions depth of cut and feed are the perpendicular motions to axis of rotation also it uh, it also determines the thickness of metal layer which is removed by the cutting tool in one pass so the formula will become here depth of cut is equal to d1 minus d2 divided by 2 in some book capital d minus small d divided by 2 is given so what is capital d1 d1 is the diameter of work before cutting in mm and d2 is the diameter of work after cutting after taking cut in mm divided by 2 so difference of diameter divided by 2 is nothing but depth of cut next definition is metal removal rate it is defined as the volume of material removed in unit time so this is volume of material okay it indicates the time required to remove the specific amount of material from the workpiece it is the time a required to remove the specific amount of material from the workpiece and it is measured in mm cube per minute or mm cube per second so formula will become here of mrr mrr is fdv where f is the feed in mm per revolution feed is mm per revolution d is depth of cut in mm and bc or in some book directly v is given so that is nothing but cutting velocity in mm per minute mm per minute so when you consider all this factor in mm your mrr will be mm cube and when cutting speed you will measure mm per minute so your mrr will be mm cube per minute so while solving the numericals uh, keep in mind the conversion of all these factors Uh, for getting correct answer okay so at the end of this session a uh, student can understood the what is cutting speed feed depth of cut and mrr so thank you for watching this video